I look forward mostly to learning something new, especially in skills, uh, such as uh, um, usually making a bow or making a bow drill kit. I I always look forward to that because um, I know, I mean, what we have here, not very much people have. This is like one of very few little things that we have here, and I just look forward to being here every Friday and learning something new. If you were to come and experience one of these classes, uh, you would see that it's very wide in its scope. One day we might be picking grass seeds, the next day we might be planting plants. Uh, one day we might be tracking animals, or we might be studying the water. Uh, all of these things pay off in the long run when a higher understanding of the world we live in is achieved by these young students because they are the future. I mean, what's really amazing about all the skills is they all tie into each other. And it's, it's you start learning one skill and then you realize, so you're starting to learn bow drill fire. And then you realize that you, you need to figure out how to make the cord for your bow. So then you have to learn how to make cordage. And then you have to understand what plants you can, you can get fibers from. So they all keep leading to each other. So to me, it's just amazing to be able to look out on a landscape and start to understand how, how we're all connected to it all and how it can help us to, to create this stuff that we live with. They, all of a sudden, instead of me teaching them about nature, they're sitting and observing it. Right. And through that observation, it's their own observation. They come to their own conclusions. We replicated the Maidu hut that's down below, and that's what they're going to be staying in, in um, their shelter. So what we've done is we've uh, set up a teepee at one end and two poles coming down, and they're, working, they're going to come down and work on finishing up this, and it's pretty roomy. Crawl in and see how many we can fit. Okay. Rick. Come on. more. I think we can fit more. Oh. You got room for one more? Oh, we got room for oh, yeah. one more, man. Oh, yeah. This is cool. Anybody else? From that, uh, much of my daily life consists of just practicing these skills because uh, I love them so much. I also find myself learning many life lessons from the skills that don't necessarily pertain to wilderness survival or primitive living, but more so just to life in general and how to be able to flow through life a little bit easier, yeah. You know, getting them out in nature with Mother Nature is uh, is a unique experience for them. I mean, she teaches so much when you, when you place kids out in, in the wilderness. And like in their sit spot when they're by themselves, sometimes it's the only time they get to hang out with themselves. Other a sit spot is where you go into the woods and you find a place that you just think is a place you want to sit and be. It could, it could be an hour, it could be two hours. You just sit down and you try to commune with nature. You close your eyes. You use your other senses. You know, taste, um, sensing when someone's something's near, and it improves your skills. I think more than building a shelter or making a bow and arrow, because if you really do do that a lot, you you'll be so intact with nature that you won't need to build a shelter or a fire. <laughs>